Well, what a day it was. Uh, can you remember life before Facebook? It's become the story of our lives in many ways. Of course you can, but I remember the day when if you wanted to write anything down with your life, you actually wrote it in a wee jotter and hid it somewhere that you hoped your mom didn't find. Facebook has become such a big part of our lives, such a big part of radio programmes like this, every aspect of life, business, culture, commerce, you name it. Started by Mark Zuckerberg on this very day, 15 years ago, 2004. So how long will Facebook's days last? Because if you think about it, if you've been in there for 15 years or, the, or, or thereabouts, your life's story is in there, will always be in there for your wins and your grand wins, and it's become almost like a social document for people and families. Uh, how far has it come indeed in those 15 years? Dr. Kevin Curran is a professor of cybersecurity with the University of Ulster. You ta you're on Facebook, aren't you? I am indeed. Yeah. You glad you're on it? I am. The, the positives outweigh the negatives. Yeah. 99% of uh, their money, uh, Kevin, digital advertising, all their stuff they do includes user data, all that stuff about Cambridge Analytica. I dare say it's a world that very, very few of us understand. Yeah, they're a dog by controversy, you know, but and their share price has dipped from the peak in 2018, but they're valued at just under 500 million, a billion, 500 billion dollars. Um, they last year posted profits of 22 billion. Um, 2.3 billion users, of course, monthly active users. Again, every 15 minutes, 7,000 new people join Facebook. Um, again, so it's... it's, it's Higher. You know, and again, you've got to forget that the first two years it was only open to college students. So it's only really been available to the public for 13 years. And of course, there's always a land grab when it comes to being a giant on the internet like Amazon or eBay. And these, so it's very hard to usurp someone who gets there because there was social media... Um, companies before Facebook, but of course Facebook have grabbed that now. Just grabbed the moment. It started out with blokes in an Ivy League colleges in, in America. Zuckerberg and his buddies going rating girls, going, oh, she's good looking. See, no, it's that kind of. It did, yeah, and of course it was all posts. I mean, it's obviously Origins. it doesn't bear any resemblance to what it is now because they had to add pages, tools, business tools, the communications, and messengers. Of course, they own WhatsApp. They own. Um, you know, that they own Instagram, you know, there's a lot more than just the 2.3 billion on Facebook. There's, you know, th that use Facebook products. But of course, that they they have been dogged by controversy in the last number of years. And the, the main worry for Mark Zuckerberg now is regulation, which comes in again. That they, But they just have to do a better job of protecting our privacy again. Because well, it was one of the team members made the interesting observation, Kevin. When you go on YouTube and create content for them, they pay you if you're good at it in particular. Why is Zuckerberg not giving us his content providers yeah, a but, share of the action? Well, we got to understand we are the product. You see, you know, it is free. So if it's free... So is YouTube. Uh, so it is, but of course they make it, you know, they make it from only a fraction of the YouTubers make it for, you know, make any money really. It's mm -hmm. pennies if you're anything but up in the top 0.01%. Um, again, so if we're all willing to throw in £5 a month or £10 a month, then we wouldn't have to worry about some of the issues, the way that they collect and they use our money, they sell it on to advertisers. So it's called micro-targeted advertising that, you know, so someone comes along and buys a Facebook ad, they're able to say, look, I want only females to see this, I want them to be in a certain age group, I want them to have an income above a certain thing, I want them to be interested in these type of products. So again, Facebook have fabulous information, detailed information about us that they can pass on to third party advertisers as well. And a quarter of the advertising online goes to Facebook. Well, this programme joined in 2010 with Isabel, the former principal of Fountain Primary School, with her bird boxes. And I got one comment, uh, Kevin, which was, I thought, I thought, there's somebody else out there. And then our biggest one ever, I think, was the showstopasaurus from Halloween a couple of years back, where it was 2.2 million views. And it's that kind of a thing, isn't it? At the start, I felt it was the bee's knees. Oh, hits, 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 hits. But I think... There's another place that Facebook has to go where it becomes a meaningful dialogue. I mean, I mean, I used to put up every darn thing. Here I am eating my sandwich. Oh, oh, oh. And like, who cares? You know, uh, everyone, I, I want to yeah. make it serve the stories of programmes like this. It is. It's a rise of passage. You know, when you get onto Twitter even or any social media, sometimes you can overshare. But after a while, you realise that, you know, people aren't interested really in, in the things about you. But, but there is a connectedness. And we all have someone in mind when we post on a certain network as well, you know, Facebook or whatever. So I'm always thinking of my mum, for instance, or whatever. So, But uh, again, that it does help us keep in contact with families as well. It helps us to share. And they own our stories now because we're first generation. They do, yeah. And there are the negatives, again, it can be a waste of time. There's worry about fake news. Again, there's a privacy leaks again to go out there. There's a cyber bully and there's a stalker friendly for people as well to keep an eye on people again. You know, there's lurkers out there who never post and just watch people all the time.
No, the fifth, next fifth. Here's to the next 15. Kevin, thank you for that. Professor Kevin uh, Curran there on the 15th anniversary to the day of Facebook. Now,